Investing in materials efficiency, renewable energy and energy efficiency is now a lot easier than it used to be. There is a wide range of finance options that are now available. To discuss those options, I met up with Paul Peters from Vidaya. I started by asking him how a business should go about seeking finance for efficiency upgrades. Like any business investment, understanding the business case or the savings that are available for my particular situation, how I use electricity, when I use electricity, will dictate if I'm a restaurant and I use electricity in the night, putting solar on for the day isn't going to generate a lot of savings. So first and foremost, you need to identify the savings and the business case. Second of all, it's really about understanding that I, I'm going to buy good equipment and get a good contractor to put it in because that can vary whether the system lasts and whether it generates those savings. Third is then finance. And fourth is actually arranging, you know, having somebody monitor or asset manage those so to ensure that I get the benefits of those savings. Before a business goes out to get finance for a project opportunity, how important is it to validate those savings? I think any business that goes into this, like any other investment you'd make, you want to know uh, what those savings are. So absolutely, it is important that you actually identify those savings up front for your particular situation. If I'm a tenant in a building, is it possible for me to get finance or are there barriers in the way? It's possible to get finance. The question is whether it's a good investment. Um, and that's really on how long is my, uh, my tenancy or my lease versus how quick is the payback. So if I have a long lease, five years, seven years, and my payback is inside of that, three, four years, then I'm gonna save money. So it may, it's a smart investment. When it comes to getting energy efficiency finance and, and finance for renewables, some finance costs more than others. Is it important to shop around? Yes, because the cost of finance is one variable, which you know the interest rates for energy efficient projects and solar projects can range from 4% to 20%. And so obviously I want to get the, the best rate I can and the lowest cost finance, but I think that's one variable. The second variable is, is whether I have to give up security on my building. And so I may have a half a million dollar project in a $10 million building, um, but if I have to give up security or a second mortgage to the financier or the banker providing that, I may not want to do that. And particularly if it's a good project with good equipment. The third is whether I have to give director's guarantees and other conditions. Those are onerous and I may not want to do that. So shopping around to find low cost finance with the right conditions is important. How should I think about the cost benefits of energy efficiency and solar upgrades? There's three big benefits. One is I can actually lower my costs. Um, there's, you know, this equipment it pays for itself and, and will generate significant savings. I think the second thing is really, you know, rooftop solar in particular allows me to take control of those costs. Right now, the retailers and the electricity industry is actually dictating costs to me, but if I put it on my roof, I've actually got control. The third benefit is really the environmental benefits and the current electricity system creates a lot of pollution. Rooftop solar doesn't and energy efficiency doesn't. So those are significant benefits against the investment. Um, these projects are, as a business owner, I'd be looking at it. Finally, for someone looking to get finance for the first time, what advice would you give them? If you're looking at finance for the first time for these types of projects, it really goes back to what the project is and what the business case and the savings are. And if it's a good contractor and good equipment and well-defined and clear savings, then financing becomes very easy to arrange.